All right, guys. Um, right now in this video, we're gonna show a little demonstration. I'm fixing to start capping this plate, but you know, you're, we're not all perfect. You might run into an issue. Your gas might run out in the middle of your weld. If you don't check and you're not aware of that, it runs out, you're gonna get porosity. Or say you got wormholes or you got that damn helper that's walking around or that guy with the forklift, they run over that hose. Guess what? You're not gonna have no more gas. So you're gonna have a lot of porosity. You're gonna have to repair that. So we're gonna show you this in this video, how to take care of that, how to get it down the right way. Uh, learn how to do minimum repairs like that. All right? All right, guys, so we're gonna run a first cap on the left side. We'll see how it turns out. If we get a, a couple of wormholes or anything like that, we'll show you guys how to fix it. We're just gonna run that one, see how it turns out. All right, we're done with that one. Looks good right there to me. Looks pretty good, we don't got no wormholes, we don't have nothing like that. We're gonna go ahead and get started on the second bead. We're gonna clean it up, and then we got our boy Eric right here. We got the funny guy. He's gonna pinch uh, He's gonna pinch the argon hose midway on our second cap. We're gonna get a lot of porosity, but we're gonna show you guys how to get that out and how to take care of it. All right, guys, well, we run the second bead, but Eric had one job. He didn't pinch the hose enough, so we're gonna have to do a third bead. <laughs> And hopefully we get porosity on this one. No te digo. Dale. Oh, I see it. I see it. Oh, how nasty of you. Eh, hey, nasty. I like it. <laughs> Picasso, I like it. Are you ready? All right, so we got it down this time. We got some porosity right here on the bead. Uh, whenever you're welding, pretty much you'll see a lot of uh, buckshots flying out. You'll see more fume coming out of your weld. And pretty much right behind that wire where you're laying down that metal on your puddle, you'll start seeing that, that porosity just popping up, okay? So now we're basically right here, we gotta get to the bottom of this. You gotta, we're gonna use a one edge grind in this. You do not want to use a quarter inch grind in this, especially if it's a new grind in this. Use a one eighth grind in this for this. So we're going to use a one eighth, one eighth grind in this. We're going to grind right in the middle into that. And we're going to keep grinding until you see that porosity come all the way out of that plate, okay? guys so we pretty much grinded about 316 into the plate we opened it up a little bit but as you can see we still have plenty of porosity in there uh, just remember the hotter you're running the more penetration that weld is getting so the the more penetration your porosity is going to get okay so make sure you grind all the way in there we're going to grind a little bit more until that porosity uh, cleans up on that All right, so we, we went back and uh, grinded a little bit more. It looks like we got it out. And once that porosity clears up, you wanna grind in there a little bit more deep just to be on the safe side, just in case there might be a couple more in there. You don't wanna let that come and bite you and bust the x-ray or something and lose your job. So right here is a little bit too deep. We can't cap right off the bat. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to throw a little filler from right here to about right here on the top. We're gonna throw a little quick filler. Once it's flush, we'll clean it up. And then we'll start back again with our cap from right here and work it all the way up. Yeah. 
So we threw a little filler right here. We blend our starts and stops. Now we're gonna start from right here and work our way up and finish up our cap, okay? If you end up getting porosity again, there ain't no shortcuts. You're gonna have to grind it back out, make sure that porosity is completely out, and then go ahead and cap it, all right? Don't let it take your job from you. Look guys, just like I said earlier, there ain't no shortcuts. We finished off the cap. We got worm holes. These right here are called worm holes. And then we got porosity right here in the bottom. There's something wrong. Either there was uh, still porosity in there and we didn't get them all the way out. Or maybe we just had a problem with the gas output. Make sure you always have your nozzle cleaned up. You don't want to have no buckshots in there because that will kind of clog it up and keep that gas from coming out how it should be throwing out. Um, we're going to go ahead and grind that again. And then it is what it is. We're going to grind it, get it down right, and then let's see how it turns out. All right, guys, so we pretty much grinded it out. We had some little difficulties. We got rid of that gauge that we had on. We put a... a a bigger gauge on it that'll push a little bit more uh, pounds. So we're gonna get started again right here. Like we said, make sure you grind it out. If it keeps coming out, you gotta figure out the problem. You can have a lot of problems. It might be um, your gauge might be uh, having some problems or it might be windy, stuff like that. You wanna be running around 40 PSI. If the gauge is pushing the 40, you might have a pinch on the line. It might be cut. There's a lot of different things that could go wrong. Just you know, be thorough and double check and try to fix the problem. Find the problem. All right, guys. So we pretty much had to repair it twice. We filled it in, got porosity. We had to grind it down, redo it. We said no shortcuts. We had a little uh, problem with our gauge was in uh, pushing the proper PSI. Put a new one on there, we finished it up. We no longer got any porosity at all. We blended in a start and a tying, and that's pretty much how you do a repair on there. All right, so we pretty much demonstrated you guys how to repair it when you get a porosity worm hose. Uh, big thanks to uh, Eric for joining us and uh, you know pinching that hose for us and giving us that porosity. This pretty much repaired. We uh, fixed the porosity, got rid of it, finished it up. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. Hope you guys at home uh, are enjoying this and, and are learning a lot. We're trying to explain it to you guys as best as we can, just running it off of the top of our heads. We don't have no script in the back, so it's just from experience over the years. All right, guys, so we had a little technical difficulty. We had we run into some problems right here. With one of the reasons we were getting porosity, the next video that's coming up is which one should you choose from? From an oxygen gauge, turn over to an argon gauge, or one of these profat gauges. We're gonna weld and purge a stainless steel schedule 10, and then we'll see uh, which one's a better gauge for that. All right, stay tuned.